Hi, I'm Nekka Mwobi and I hope you've ha you have had a, or you're having a great week so far. Today I'm going to talk about why you need to conduct a relationship audit. Yes, a relationship audit. Have you ever done that? A, a relationship audit means kind of auditing your relationships, reviewing your major relationships and saying, does this serve me or does it not serve me? I like what Mike Murdoch said about relationship. He said, relationships nurtures a strength or a weakness in you. Now, you don't want to have relationships that nurture the weaknesses in you. That would be very um, energy draining and rather than adding to you. So when I mean, does your relationship serve you? I actually mean, are you deriving value from that relationship? Does it benefit you? And it's not just so much about taking from the relationship, but also adding to it. Because a relationship should be mutually beneficial. So you see why it's important to look at the relationships that serve you or do not serve you. And why do you want to do that? Because you want to know the relationships to continue to nurture or the ones that you need to eliminate to make room for more relationships. Now, how are, how are you able to conduct these relationships? It's about asking yourself questions. One question to ask is, do we have anything in common besides a shared history? Because really, as you go along, ideally you should be growing. And after a while, you find out that some of the relationships that you had in the past, it's, you, it's just existing. You're not deriving any value. And the other person is also not deriving value. Another question is, as do I feel better or worse in the company of this relationship? You know, there are some relationships that after you've either spoken to the person, you just feel drained. Now, that's not a relationship to be in. You want to be in relationships that after you've been out of the presence of, but you feel energized and ready to go. And each of you are sharpening each, sharpening each other. Another question to ask is, in the current, if the current challenge I'm, I'm experience in this relationship or situation is here to teach me something. What might be that gift of wisdom? So you know that there is a purpose for every relationship that you have. As I said, it's not just so much about give, um, receiving. Even though, yes, you may not be receiving in the area that you thought of, you will be receiving in a different way. An example is sometime last year, my friends and I conducted a project where we went to rehabilitate or work with some ex-prostitutes. Now, these ex-prostitutes who are now doing better jobs and being able to fend for their families, um, I still have the relationship with them. I see how they're doing. And so what I got out, what I'm still getting out of there is a sense of fulfillment that I'm adding value to somebody else's life. Another reason why you should conduct a relationship audit is so that you can identify the gaps in the types of relationships you have, especially in business. You may decide, oh, I need this set of, I need to know the set of people and develop relationships with them. In which case your action may be to join a civic organization or a professional association to enable you develop new relationships. So I ask you, what relationships at this point in time do you need to eliminate? Let's start with that first. And which ones do you have to, do you need to strengthen? Because it's also important that you also work on strengthening your relationships. And how do you do that? By communicating with the people that you've decided, that, yes, I want to nurture these relationships. I want to add value to this relationship. And I also want to get value out of that. Because it's as you give that you will receive. I hope this, I hope this vlog, or I hope this, yes, I hope this, message or my my communication with you has added some value to you as always endeavor to make your life significant have a great day.